Elle here from Elle Plans. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do a mid-year check-in as we're in July now of 2024 and let you know what's working, what isn't working, and what I'll be changing for the last half of the year. So buckle up, let's go. So I first wanna start with what I was using at the beginning of the year. I started the year out in this Aura Estelle Passport TN cover and I was using a jumbo passport notebook from the Angel Shop. I love this notebook. It is a great size, it's jumbo size, so you can fit practically anything and everything in here, dailies, lists, things like that. Um, it's got a structured monthly in the front, which I also loved. Um, the only issue is that it was a bit thick and I do realize that I just need structure. Um, I try to fill pages and I try to do them um, with stickers and things like that, but I found that I kind of need um, a structured daily or a structured weekly, which I try to put in here. And I just realized more and more I wasn't using it because I was having to draw in the structure every week, which again was fine and it was fun to use the stickers, but I kind of just fell out of it. So that was my passport on the go planner. Next was my <laughs> kind of everything, uh, a different version of Mega Planner, if you will. So this is a paper bound creations uh, cover. And basically what I have in here is my Paper Test Designs A5 notebook, um, which is my extension planner. Oh dear, <laughs> all my things are falling off. Um, so this has all of my big sections like health, finances, social media, home, goals, and then magic. Magic is just notes. I just put, you know, make life magical and it's got kind of some financial planning in there, some packing lists, some to-do lists. It's just got a whole bunch of stuff in here. And at the beginning of this, we're like falling apart here. <laughs> at the beginning of this, we have all of my trackers for the year. So health tracker, finance, social media, daily goals. And then we go into weekly trackers, monthly trackers. And you can see what I've put here that I'm tracking for each of them. And then a quarterly tracker and then an end of the year tracker. <laughs> so this is my kind of extension planner which I've always used a separate extension planner with the exception of last year. Um, in here are just some invitations, some letters, some cards from friends, and this uh, insert is from BB Rose Labs. And then I have another one from her, which is where I keep all of my stickers. And then this is my Hobonichi Cousin. So I have been dying to get back into using a Hobonichi Cousin. I saw so much amazing inspiration last year and I, I just love it, but I've never been able to make it work for me. Um, I really started to kind of get into the groove of it this year. Um, I have an insert that I got off Etsy um, with just some kind of pre-planning. Um, so if I want to block out any vacations or if I know things are coming up, I'll put it in here first before putting it in the planner. Um, I was using these kind of monthly breakdowns for um, actioning my goals for the month. So putting my goals here and the actions and then marking them off. And then just going into my monthlies, which my monthlies are quite scribbly. Um, and I would have my monthly to-do list here on the side. And then the weeklies. So I was nervous with a cousin because I really wasn't good at structuring out a vertical weekly. I've really struggled with this and I don't know why, but I love the look of it. And I do like marking out my day and kind of time blocking things. Um, I also never knew what to do with this side column except maybe like a to-do list. Um, so I started using it as a habit tracker for AM and PM. And then blocking off this kind of bottom row starting at midnight and using this as meal trackers. Um, and these are gonna help me with my goals. So all of the meal tracking is part of my annual goal number two. And the habit tracking is a little mix of everything, like my all three of my annual goals really. So I just kind of played around with um, scheduling on a vertical weekly and I actually really love it. 
So this is kind of what my weeks have morphed into. Um, still quite scribbly, <laughs> but I love it. The planning works. My only issue with this is that I don't have dailies in here. The dailies for this planner are at the back. And I knew this was gonna be something I struggled with, again, um, because last year I would tip in dailies into my weekly. So I would have a smaller version of a weekly or of a daily in the weekly so I could still see kind of everything around it, but I would have a daily page just in case, whether it was for um, appointments, a structured timeline, or just a to-do list. Um, so I really struggle with the back and forth, back and forth of seeing my entire week, having my habit trackers and writing my meals, but then flipping back and having a whole day, which again, this is a lot of real estate for me. I never know what to put in the day um, insert. And for a while, um, I was using the daily pages as kind of a, a well-being check-in throughout the day. So I would put how I was feeling kind of in these check-ins. I would put some priorities at the top. I'd put some affirmations here. I'd rate my day out of a five-star system, and then I'd kind of journal about that rating here. It worked really well, but again, I struggle with journaling. I thought this would be a great way to kind of uh, get into journaling, but I just, I realize I am more of a weekly planner and use dailies if I need them as, instead of just like a update something daily. I just, I'm not committed enough, I feel like. <laughs> I've got commitment issues to consistent daily planning. But um, I loved this when it was working for me. Um, once I started getting really into journaling, um, kind of around February, March, I almost realized I was duplicating the information I was putting in here and then in my journal. So I actually decided I would stop with kind of this system on my daily pages and kind of use the dailies as intended and then I would journal every night and that seemed to work. But again, it was the, the flipping back and forth between the weekly and the daily that I still couldn't kind of get the hang of. So that is why um, I'll be making some changes, but I'll mention those in just a moment. Next up is my work planner. So I am using A5 rings for work. This is a Louis Vuitton multicolor agenda in the large ring size or GM size. Um, I can't really show you too much in here, but the um, decoration is very minimal. Um, I love this little locker door um, dashboard from Type A from Alexa. Um, what I can show you, um, I haven't really set up July yet, so I can show you what my inserts look like. Um, this is from Annie Plans Printables from her Shine Sticker Studio collaboration. I just love all the colors. Um, and on the back of this, I printed the Annie Plans Printables Hobonichi Cousin Style uh, Monthly, which I do all of my planning for the month um, for my programs. And then on the back, this is actually from Puffin Page Designs. It's part of her, um, uh, one of her work bundles, I believe. It's kind of a workflow um, insert. So I have all the tasks I need to do this month. And then I put my programs up here. Um, sometimes some of the tasks I have to do are for more than one program. So that allows me to see um, kind of one, what's a priority and two for what program. Um, so this is how I kind of map out all the detail-oriented operational tasks that I have to do. And then I have a notes section, um, notes insert, and then it goes into a to-do. This just comes with the Marsha Bermucci um, day on two page insert that I have. I love this for kind of like personal to-dos at work, whether it's professional development or conversations or things like that, that's what this is for. And then you go into my day on two page. Um, this is a custom. It, it's only a custom in that I changed the titles of these sections here, but I didn't do anything to the structure of the insert. So it was very easy. Um, and Mar Marcia is always super accommodating. Um, so I was very grateful that 
she allowed me to kind of customize this but i just love the rainbow colors it obviously matches perfectly um so i have my my schedule up here i have my priorities here for the day uh, a lot of time during the day i have requests and tasks come in that i put here so that they don't kind of muddy up my priorities and then these are uh, things that i need to check on and then if i have any notes that don't need to go into my top sections um, or I'm just kind of thinking out loud, <laughs> thinking on paper, uh, all of that goes here on the note side. And um, another thing Marcia did for me as a custom is that since I don't need Saturdays or Sundays, um, oh, hold on, I missed one out, here we go. Uh, I have an extra notes page in between the Friday and Monday. So if I need to carry on over from a day or I don't have um, space or a, a random meeting where I need notes, this is perfect. So that is my A5 Rings work planner that I'm still using and is still working really well. Okay, so now we've seen what I started the year with. We know that the A5 work planner is still working, so we can keep this. What's changing now is my on-the-go planner and my day-to-day -day and extension planning. So one of the changes I made early on was switching from my The Angel Shop Jumbo Passport Notebook to a slimmer monthly um, passport situation. So this cover is from AliExpress. It's just um, a little waxed pink cover. It's from this brand here, if you can see. Um, and then this charm is from the Angel Shop. And basically, I just have a few little um, pocket inserts in here. This one is from BB Rose Labs, and this one is from Salty Katie Co. Um, and all I did was actually glue on these Crefective uh, pages, these inserts, because the little booklet that it came with just had blank pages, and honestly, I was too impatient. I didn't want to... Uh, wait for a monthly booklet to come and also there's only one string in here which friends have since showed me how to use multiple booklets with just one string but um, honestly it worked the the only issue now is that um, I I wish I can combine the two I'm kind of missing the ability to have kind of weekly and daily options uh, in here with me on the go but I don't want to have to draw them in every week I kind of want some structure so how I am managing that is I'm going to be using the Paper Test Designs Daily Notebook um, in pocket size. This is brand new, um, just launched uh, last week. And it has all of her standard kind of uh, yearly overview and it has the monthlies. And this is just for half the year, as you can see, she's a bit chunky. So July to December, so for the rest of the year. And it also has um, kind of a daily breakdown for the month. It has a few of those. Let me show you what else. It has quarterly overview, which I love this layout from Paper Test Designs. And then it also has monthly trackers. Yes, I love that. And then it goes into the, the year. So you get this weekly overview, which I love. You've got your days of the week at the top and then just blank notes um, at the bottom. And then it goes into a structured daily, kind of like a moleskin or lectern, um, but better, <laughs> better paper quality. And I also love the consistency of the layout. So every single week looks like this. So at the end of the week, so here's Sunday, you have a weekly review, and then you go into the week again, and again, you've got your daily pages. So I love this because um, I bought two of them <laughs> because, as you remember from Mega Planner last year, I cut out um, pocket size inserts from my pocket daily moleskin and I tipped them into my Paper Test Designs weekly planner. Let me show you. So this is what it looked like. So here is my Paper Test Designs weekly planner. This is the week and then I tipped in these moleskin daily pages. Now. You can see this week started on Tuesday because of the way that the Moleskine was. And then this one started on Monday 
So it's, it's kind of the same. You can see this one starts on Tuesday. So now every single week, because of the paper test designs, um, the way that she structured this, my week will actually start with this weekly review and it's just gonna be kind of a things to look out for, things to think about, don't forget. And then I have um, this kind of weekly overview and then I will have all the daily pages. So very excited for that. And here is the Paper Test Designs weekly notebook, which I will be using and tipping those pages into this, which kind of leads me on to what's changing here in this planner. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out, <laughs> everything's falling, and nose is getting changed, so everything's falling out. Um, I am going to take out my Paper Test Designs A5 extension planner, and I am going to put it in my little coach Wild Strawberries uh, cover and have it just separate because this this A5 Mega Planner just isn't working. And I think it's mostly because of the Hobonichi Cousin. I tried. And what we're gonna do now instead of the Hobonichi Cousin is we are going to do Paper Test Designs Mega Planner, which I will be using my Moterm weekly um, notebook cover, which I think this might be maybe chestnut, I can't remember. So we are just, we're going back to Mega Planner, almost Mega Planner. The only difference is that I will not have my extension planner sections in the back like I did last year. You can kind of see my extension planner in the back. So that's the, that's the only difference um, from this year, uh, this year to last year. Um, however, I believe next year I will fully go back to this system, but I might do it in the Paper Test Designs standard size instead of weekly size because her standard has the vertical weekly, which I love. And then fingers crossed, we still have this little pocket notebook like this, and I will be able to tip in these pages into the vertical weekly. So not only will I have a timed weekly, but I will also have a horizontal weekly with tons of notes and dailies. So that is my update for July 2024. We have all of this exciting stuff coming. I also have a new cover for my passport. So let's see. So this is the one that will unfortunately get cut up for my uh, weekly mega planner. And then this one is actually gonna go in my new Apple Pig leather um, cover that they sent. So I will. it fits perfectly here. And then my phone fits here. I've got a pen loop. I can put keys or cards here. And then I've got secretarial pockets and card slots here with even more pockets behind the notebook. So I'm really excited to kind of have an all-in-one, which is what I've been looking for, something to keep my phone, my keys, my cards, and my planner all-in-one and just go. It has a little wristlet strap, and I also have this little crossbody strap that I can hook onto it as well. So we're looking a little brown for the rest of the year, but I like it, and I think we all kind of love that warm look. And something else that's really exciting is I have been asked to try this new custom personalized feature from Filofax. So you can see I have got myself a clipbook from Filofax with my name on it in pink and red, we love. And I have gotten it with these weeks on two page inserts. So I love having this open on my kitchen counter so I can see two weeks at a time. And you can also see that there are QR codes here. So Filofax has come out with an app where you can scan the QR code and it will take a picture of your week or of your day and you can import that into your calendar on your phone or your device. 
digital planning. This is how I'm gonna be able to digital plan <laughs> by paper planning and then taking a picture of it. Um, because I'm just a girly who cannot get into the title, time, date, information. I, I just can't do it. But I can write it on paper and I can take a picture of it and then import it into my phone. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna do a reel of setting this up. So another really exciting update coming for the last half of 2024. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I think that's everything. Thank you so much for stopping by and as always sticking around. Uh, I am so excited to kind of see what everyone else is doing for the last half of the year. Um, or even just this quarter. I know we all like to kind of switch it up a little bit, but I hope you have a great rest of your day, weekend, month, and I'll be back soon with more updates. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.